just in, ran Paul Issue's major health update, this is urgent. It appears that Senator Rand Paul, Arkey, might be facing more severe health complications resulting from the recent attack against him at his Kentucky home. Senator Rand Paul, Arkey, who was attacked by a neighbor as his mowed his lawn at his home in Kentucky on Friday, provided a medial update stating that an X-ray found he had not only six broken ribs, but a pleural effusion as well, according to his Twitter post. The senator was attacked last Friday by his neighbor and retired anesthesiologist, Renee Boucher, who charged and tackled him unexpectedly. Police have charged Mr. Boucher, 59, with a misdemeanor count of assault, but were considering elevating the charge to felony assault because of the severity of the injuries. Mr. Paul tweeted that his situation had deteriorated with the discovery of a pleural effusion. I appreciate all of the support from everyone. A medical update, final report indicates six broken ribs and new x-ray shows a pleural effusion. Often referred to as water on the lungs, a pleural effusion is a condition where excess fluid builds up around the lungs, requiring it to be drained either through the use of medication, pleural sclerosis, or surgical treatment. It's not clear when Senator Paul will return to work in Washington, D.C. A senior strategist for the senator, Doug Stafford, said earlier this week that Mr. Paul and his wife appreciate everyone's thoughts and well wishes and he will be back fighting for liberty in the Senate soon, according to CBS News. Senator Paul had told the police that his neighbor came onto his property and tackled him from behind, forcing him to the ground and causing pain. The senator had several injuries from the blow including small cuts to the nose and mouth area, as stated in the arrest warrant. Mr. Paul was also suffering pain because of a potential rib injury. This injury was eventually diagnosed as multiple broken ribs. Mr. Boucher's attorney said in a statement that this entire affair had little to do with politics or anything of that nature. The unfortunate occurrence of November 3 has absolutely nothing to do with either politics or political agendas. It was a very regrettable dispute between two neighbors over a matter that most people would regard as trivial. Both Senator Paul, as well as Mr. Boucher, have been next-door neighbors for close to two decades, and have worked together as physicians when they were both practicing. Although Senator Paul described the incident as nothing more than an unfortunate event, many have speculated that this was part of a landscaping dispute, rather than a politically motivated attack. Some have accused the libertarian politician as a difficult neighbor at times due to his strong belief in property rights. I think this is something that has been festering, said Jim Skaggs, developer of the River Green gated community in Bowling Green, where the two men live. He added that Senator Paul was probably the hardest person to encourage to follow the homeowners association regulations of anyone out here because he has a strong belief in property rights. However, as reported by Breit Bart and local key television stations, numerous neighbors have come forward to say that the claims are false. Travis Greed wrote an email stating, The stories of a landscaping dispute, or a dispute of any sort between Rand Paul and Renee Boucher are erroneous and unfounded. The reason for Mr. Boucher's bizarre attack is known only to him. Statements to the contrary are irresponsible and unnecessary. Other neighbors including the current president of the community's homeowners association, HOA have said that in several decades living in Senator Paul's neighborhood, they are unaware of any conflict or complaints regarding the Paul family, describing the family as very gracious and friendly, even adding that the Paul family hosts a family football game that has been an ongoing neighborhood tradition. Another neighbor stated, both Rand and Kelly focus importance on community and friendship in their home is warm loving and the door open to new friends and old. The Paul family should be highly regarded for the kindness they show and how they continue to embrace all those that cross their path. The experience of Senator Paul's neighbors and how is spending several decades clearly contradict what Boucher's lawyer and the community developer has to say. Regardless of the motivations of this attack, we can only hope that Senator Paul makes a speedy recovery. Conservatives and libertarians alike will miss his presence on the Senate floor. Senate floor.